What's up everybody, the doctors in Michael Prati here joining you for another best of five Dragon Ball series. Today I have Goichi versus Mr. Frieza. Goichi breaking out that GT Goku. We knew it was only a matter of time. Mr. Frieza also trying to combat that with his own version of the character. And I'm excited because as we all know, this character just came out. And everybody's still working out the kinks on it. And we're trying to figure out the very best version of it. Um, and we've seen that in some of the touch of deaths that we've been, you know, witness to. But there's still the small parts. There's still the small interactions, the mix-ups, things like that, that we still need to unlock. So I'm excited. Let's just jump into it, guys. Right off the bat, you can see Goichi starting with that GT Goku. Starting out first... Whereas Mr. Frieza, a bit more conservative with that Vegito start. Such a battery, still able to build up lots of meter when on the offense. Getting beat up a little bit though. And it's interesting to see that the, the baby Goku does have that Frieza style air heavy to spike him into the ground. This, you know, Kamehameha ball as well. So good at moving Goku around the screen. Not quite enough damage to the kill, so he brings in his dad as backup. Goichi off to an early lead. Not having burned too much either. Good delay on the combo after the assist. Catches him in the air with a blue combo! Oh, no! Gets him up high. Such a little character. Still has such a big head. That was bonkers. Aesthetically, such a cool combo there. Using the Kamehameha to speed him up. Speed him all around. And that, that's some of the things we get to look forward to as this character develops. Has the solo knockup. We could definitely see that into a snap meta. I could see that happening. It's not ideal, but, you know, we take what we can get. Looks like he's actually got a pretty big 2H as well. We're going to see the sparking blast here from Goichi. He is 7 bars a meter to back himself up. Drops that combo for a second, but he's going to pick up the second one. Such long range on that 5LL. Sparking Blast now going to time out for Mr. Frieza. Not a lot of health back. Just going to let all the supers rock and takes down Mr. Frieza in game one. A little sad we didn't get to see the Genkidama there, but it's coming. I expect we'll see it. Especially since Goku can then combo off of it as well. Pretty ridiculous in its own right. Mr. Frieza answering back with his own 5L. Goes all the way across the screen. Gonna drop him down. Tries to catch him but opens him up instead. Lots of damage here. Almost. Yep, there's three bars a meter. Decides not to let it rock. Tries to catch him with the sword instead. You're going to see the Z change out for Goichi. Snap back. No, nope, just throws him right down. Tries to challenge buttons, but gets changed out on. There's the answer, though. Side switch in for Goichi. Going to have corner pressure with three bars a meter. Just barely mistimes the assist there. The 2S jump forward. Oh, man, he gets caught by the 2H, really? Definitely wasn't expecting that to combo. All right, come on, go away. Little notification. There we go. So the two of them just messing around a little bit. Goichi going to get caught up trying to do some tricky stuff. But Super Dash too good. Walk up to H the Madman. So many beams on the screen. Going to get the Super Saiyan out of Bardock though. That's enough. Going to take down his little baby boy. 
And now Goichi taking another early lead here in game two. Trying to open him up. Ooh, up and over. What was that? How did he get that overhead? Finds himself back on the defensive, though. That freeze assist, so good. So much hit stun on it, and you just keep them locked forever. This should be it for Goichi's Bardock. Just going to use the level 1 to keep Vegito in. Doesn't want to swap Frieza in just yet because of how good that assist is. Goichi going to have to work a little bit harder. Snaps him out. Gives me the little Goku. Kicks him right in his giant forehead. Going to do lots of damage, and this should definitely be enough to kill... Spirit Sword into Death Ball. Yep, there it is. Sparking still available for both teams. We'll have to see if Goichi decides to use it at the end of this string. Blocks. Keeps blocking. Blocking a third time. Gets hit overhead. Mr. Frieza tried to bait the sparking a little bit. There it is, though. Get some loops now. Shouldn't be enough to kill. I don't believe Goku has a solo touch of death just yet, but get some overhead, and that is definitely enough to kill. Can he do it without burning meter? He can. Oh my, Lanta. He's going into this final character bout. Seven bars of meter. About halfway through his sparking. Mr. Frieza still having his, obviously. When does he use it? Right there. Now it's a battle of the Super Saiyans. Not a good enough follow-up on that Vanish Jab. Sparking Blast now over for Goichi. He just has to wait out a little bit longer. Good timing there. Able to block the 5L. Gets caught by the second one, though. Six bars a meter. As long as Mr. Frieza doesn't drop this, this should be it. Air Dragon Rush for the sliding knockdown into the level three. Sayonara. There goes Goichi going down one game. And Mr. Frieza finds himself on the board. Oh, man. Just runs him right through. Throws him back into the corner. Wake up jab, though. Good option there. Used the assist to dodge out on the counter there. Got a bit of an opening, but draw. Oh, what is that? That hit cross-up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the kid's got a six-inch leg. How is he going to get all the way to the other side? Just slides down the chimney there, opens him up. Going to take corner pressure back for Goichi. Assist timing still being worked on with this new character. Can't have it all figured out day one, folks. Corner pressure once again. Still waiting for a level three out of this mini Goku. But instead, we're going to see Bardock uh, uh, gone. What is going to be the mix up, though? Gets the sparking blast, though. Really good option there for Mr. Frieza. Relates all the pressure. And now he can get something going on his own side. A little slow on the Kamehameha and gets punished. Lariat into a full combo here. Not quite enough just yet. There's three bars a meter. Will we see it once again? Level one. Uh, not sure what the plan was there for Goichi. But he ends up working it out in the end, getting the 2M opener and finishes his little forehead. Mr. Frieza now finding himself in a really precarious position. One and a half health bars left with no sparking blast available. Challenges Goichi right after the assist and is going to take this character all the way through. Oh man, really nice decision making there from Mr. Frieza. Evens it up the game just a little bit. Still down Sparking Blast. But if he can keep getting openings like this, oh, 
had the call. Wasn't close enough, though. Bicycle kick, not quite enough. Gets the throw. Can't really get much after it. Oh, man. Super Saiyan 4, Dragon Punch Raw. That is going to hurt. It kills him. It had enough damage to blow him up. Oh, man. Koichi with the hard call out is now putting Mr. Frieza onto his final character. Gonna reflect and dodge out the Destructo Discs. Gets the low opener as well. That power pull so good. Gets walked down upon. Frieza, known for his overheads. Vanished himself back into the corner. Mr. Frieza. Only his namesake remains. Can he finish out Baby Goku? It's not looking good. Goichi's going to drop the combo. Gets locked up by the 5H in the air by Frieza. Oh, gets caught by it that time. Wasn't ready to block. Holds the vanish that time. Opens him up with a combo. Two bars of meter. This might be enough to kill if he can connect everything. Nope. Raw level three from Frieza. Oh, man. The call outs. Each one of them just gets one solid call. And that is all it takes for Goichi to finish it up is the instant air dash overhead. Giving him a 2-1 lead in the series as well. What was almost a storied comeback there for Mr. Frieza though. Just in the end didn't have enough HP. Mr. Frieza trying to get tricky on the opener there. But Goichi Lee wisely just walked back. And punished it. S empty jump over the top into the jab. Gives Goichi a little bit of an opening. Catches him on his way down. Lots of damage coming in here. And we can see Goichi's already figuring out the assist timing as the game goes on. He was missing it a lot earlier in the series, but now he seems to have it figured out and is not missing. And we even gave him the snap there. Tried to get the solo snap, it looks like, but catches the guard cancel. Oh, no! This is going to be so much damage. This could actually be the character. Goichi has the meter to keep it all going. Into the Dragon Punch as well. <laughs> Wasn't down a character, so we didn't see the magical Super Saiyan 4 transformation. But you know what? He'll take a character kill over a transformation any day of the week. Mr. Frieza down one and a half health bars remaining. Can he get another comeback story coming out of the book? Opens him up with the Frieza assist. So good. Catches him with the magical Vegito 5L. That thing really just has the properties of some sort of spell. Follows you around. Kicks you in the mouth. Tried to call him out with the level 3. Was too high in the air though. Big punish here for Mr. Frieza. Should be able to tie it up. Level 1? Level... Oh, doesn't even need the second level 1. Keeps the lower health character in. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, Mr. Goichi? You can't just do that. You can't just heavy lariat out of nowhere. And you you really shouldn't do that either. You shouldn't catch people falling with the double axe handle that is Bardock's 5LL. Frieza, all that remains is standing between Goichi and the series victory. Sparking Blast still available for both sides. Trying to play a defensive game here. One of the best things Goichi knows. And it's working out for him so far. Just waited long enough for Mr. Frieza to get impatient. Now he's got loops on his side. Oh, he drops it and picks it right back up. Are you kidding me? He catches him with the 5L and is just going to town. How many loops can this man make? And the answer is all of them seven bars of meter. That is going to be it. Run it all through. Spend it all. That is Goichi taking this series three to one. Congratulations to him for a hard-fought victory. 
And like I said, we're seeing this GT Goku transitions and we're seeing them learn as the games go. And we can already see how many tools the character has. We saw his solo bounce into what could potentially be Dragon Rush snap metas. We saw Goichi co uh, constantly using it to just extend combos. But there's just so much tools here. We saw him in that last game, that game four, use a snap to get Vegito back in and then open him up. And, you know, having that level three, just so much damage, especially once you're down a character. We didn't actually see him spirit bomb, which I'm a little surprised about and a little sad about because it is such a cool animation. But in the end, Goichi picks it up 3-1. Congratulations to him. And once again, I am Michael Dr. Parati. Thank you, everybody who tuned in today. And we'll see you next time.